Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to send emails using Python. Now before we begin writing any code be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy the content on this channel and if you are not already a subscriber to the channel then hit that subscribe button for more videos. Okay, so I'm currently on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and I am on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website, log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to get started writing the code, you're gonna wanna click on file and then click on new notebook and a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell will open up for you as well. Okay, now in this cell, I'm gonna put a description about the program. So this way I can look back on the program, just read the description and know what the program is supposed to do or what the program is about. So this program sends email. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and click on the code button here in the top left and I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout the program. So I'm going to import SMTP lib. Next I'm going to import SSL and from email dot mime.txt, I'm going to import mime text as MT and from email.mime.moti part, I'm going to import mime multi part as MM. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and run this cell by clicking this button here to the left. Okay, so it looks like there were no errors. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to store the email addresses for the receiver and the sender. And I will store the sender's email password. Okay, so I'm gonna create a variable called receiver and I'm gonna set it equal to the email address of the receiver. So I'm going to be using this email address that I made up, python.email.755 at gmail.com. And then I'm going to create the sender. So I'm going to create a variable called sender. And in this case, the sender will be me. It will be this email address here. So I'm just going to highlight it. And I'm going to highlight actually all of this and copy it using control C and then come down here and paste it using control V. Okay. Next I'm going to go ahead and create the sender's password. So the password is Python password one, two, three dollar sign. Okay. And I should mention again, I created this email just for this video. So by the time this video is up, that password definitely would have changed. Okay, and this is just a throwaway email, so I won't be checking it. All right, so let's go ahead and run this cell. And let's create a new cell. Okay, now in this cell, I want to create a MIME multi-part object. So I'm gonna create a variable called MSG, which will be short for message. And I'm gonna set it equal to our MM, that's our my multi-part class, okay? Or the constructor actually. All right, so let's go ahead and give this object a subject. So just type S, uh, MSG and then input the subject, okay? And what do I want the subject to be? I'm just gonna put Python programming is amazing with an exclamation point. So that's gonna be the subject. And then I want to give a, a from and a to column. So just type msg from. So this will let us know who the, let us, it will let us know where the email is from. So who it's from. And then of course the to column will let us know who the email is to. So this is gonna be from the sender and then the message will be to, in this case, 
it will be the receiver. But of course, again, the receiver and the sender are both me. They're both my email address. Okay, and that's just for this purpose here, just to show how this works. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And actually, I think I need to run this cell. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to create the HTML message. So I'm going to create a variable called HTML. And I'm going to set it equal to these three quotes. All right, and this will allow me to input the HTML here. So let's go ahead and start writing the HTML. So we need the HTML tag. And then I'm going to give it a body. So I'm going to use the body tag. And then I'm going to make everything pretty big. So I'm going to give it a header tag, header one tag. And in this tag, I'm going to put Python is cool. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. So I'm going to end the header one tag. All right, next, I want to input a image. So I'm going to use the IMG tag. And the source will be https colon slash slash everything computer science dot com slash photos slash photo underscore image dot png and and the quotation there all right and i'm going to give it an alt so the alt will be equal to python underscore image and I want to give this image a width. So I'm going to set the width equal to 640. And I want to give it a height as well. So I'm going to set the height equal to, let's see, 360. And then I'm going to close the image tag. Okay. All right. So I think that looks good so far. Next, let's go ahead and just print some text. And I'm actually going to use a header tag for this. I'm going to use the header two tag. Okay. And let's put this in a P tag, what I'm about to type. So I'm just going to put hello and then a comma. And then we're going to go to a new line. So I'm going to use the BR tag. And here I'm going to put checkout and then colon. I'm going to put a link here. So we're going to check out the website everythingcomputerscience.com and make it a link. So we need to use the A tag for this. And then we need to reference the link. So set href equal to https colon slash slash www dot everything computer science dot com. And I think that'll do it. Okay. And then of course I'm just gonna put everything computer science and then I'm going to end the a tag all right and then I'm going to put it has great information on computers programming data data structures and and more. All right. Now let's go ahead and close this P tag. So slash P here. And actually I'm going to put a little indent just so I know that I'm within that P tag. And then I want to close the header two tag. So that's H2. Let's go ahead and close that. And the last tag is the body tag. So let's close that before we close our HTML tag. Okay, so that should do it. Let's go ahead and run this. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to create a HTML MIME text object. So I'm going to call this empty OBJ. And I'm going to set this equal to MT, the constructor. And we're going to input the HTML that was just created. And then we need to tell it that this is HTML. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. 
and let's create a new cell and now I want to attach the mime text object into the message container okay so just type msg dot attach and I'm going to attach that object so that's mtobj and let's run this and let's create a new cell okay now in this cell we're going to create a I'm going to put this in quotes here a secure connection with the server and send the email all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a secure socket layer context object so I'm going to create a variable called SSL underscore context and I want to set it equal to SSL dot create underscore default context and that's good there so next I'm going to create the the secure um, I'm going to create the secure simple mail transfer protocol or SMTP for short and I should also note that the secure socket layer is SSL for short so let me go ahead and put some comments there for you just to show you um, what we're creating here so we're creating the secure socket layer which is the SSL context object and next I'm going to create the secure yeah the secure simple mail transfer protocol or SMTP connection okay and these should probably all be capitals or capitalized so let's go ahead and do that now and there we go all right so let's go ahead and create this connection so I'm going to create a variable called server and set it equal to SMTP lib dot SMTP underscore SSL. All right. So we need to give it a host. I'm going to be using Google's outgoing mail server for this. So the host is going to be SMTP dot Gmail dot com and the port is 465 and the context is of course going to be equal to our SSL underscore context okay next let's log in to the email account so just type server dot login and then input the sender and then the sender password and then we will send the email so just type server dot send mail okay and we're going to send it using the sender we're going to send it using the receiver and using the message so that's going to be message and we need to convert this to a string so message dot as string okay and Let's go ahead and give this a run. Actually, before we do, let me go to the email account just to show you all. Here's the email account I have. There's no, no emails right now. So let's go back to the code here and let's run all of this. So I'm just gonna click on runtime and click run all. Okay, it looks like it's done. So let's go back to the email. And now you can see I have this new email. It says Python programming is amazing. It's from me. Um, let's go ahead and open this. And it looks like there's something wrong with the image. So let's go back to the code and let's see what's wrong with the image. So we have image or IMG. The source is equal to all of that there. And then we have our alt equal to Python underscore image. And we have our our width equal to 640, our height equal to 360. So I'm really not sure where the 
where the issue lies yet. Um, what we can do though is I can take this link here. I'm going to copy it using Control C and I can come here and I can paste it using Control V and we can search for that. So it looks like we're getting a a error here on the on the site. So maybe there's something wrong with that link. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the link again. So we have https colon slash slash everything computer science dot com slash photos slash photo image dot png and what that tells me is that tells me that I have misspelled something and I think it's the image name. I think this is supposed to be Python. So now if I copy this link using control C, go back up here and paste it using control V and run that. And there we go. So now we get this nice image. Let's go ahead and go back to the program and let's run this. We're going to run everything. Okay. And it's done. And then I'm going to go to my email address, go to the inbox and we can see that it's here again. And now I have this nice image. Let's go ahead and see if this link works. So I'm just going to click on that and it looks like we get to the website. So Everything looks good. I think that's pretty cool. Now, if you have any issues with this, with um, with getting emails, you may have to change a few settings on your email account. So you have to go to your Google account and then you have to go to security here and then click on less secure app access. So you have to turn that on, which Google does not recommend. So do this at your own risk. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do, but again, do this at your own risk. I really hope that you all have enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching this video. I want to give a special thanks to everyone supporting this channel on patreon.com. If you want to support this channel on patreon.com, I will leave a link in the description below. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in the next video.